Hello and welcome to my Teachable Coupon Code tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to use coupons for any of your courses. These are a great way for increasing your conversions because after all, who doesn't love a big discount? If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below. And if you click that, you can get a free access to Teachable. Or if you already have an account, you can utilize that to log in. Let's begin. So something I want to make clear is that you should have a course updated first because you can't add a coupon to nothing, if that makes sense. So upon doing so, if you look on the left side under the courses section, right here we're going to have coupons this is where i am and this is what it should show should you have no coupons yet let's click on add new coupon and you can do multiple use so create a coupon with the code of your choice that can be used as many times as you want or you can bulk single use generate a csv file with a list of unique one-time coupon codes to distribute to users so for this i just like multiple use i think that's going to be the best bulk single use is obviously if you want to give out a ton of them for just single use each that's going to be what you can do but multiple use is probably going to be the most popular or common let's utilize that it's already checked off and click on next all right, so right off the bat, let's start with the top section. So we can choose by percentage or amount. So do you wanna be able to save just 50% off for this specific pricing plan? And like I said, you need to have a course there with a pricing plan for it to show up. So we could do say 50% off, 25% off, or you could just go with a strict amount. Say we're gonna do $50 off, we can just type in 50 here. Okay, so we have that set up. Of course, we've picked our specific pricing plan. For the coupon here, let's choose one. We have saved 50 here for our coupon code. Max is gonna be up to 40 characters. Probably wanna keep it something short and simple. I mean, you don't wanna do like save $50 on this affiliate blueprint course today. Like it's just too long, all right? No one wants to type that in. Obviously they have to copy and paste it, but just keep it shorter, probably best practice, okay? Internal name, this is just for your reference only. So no one else is gonna see that. Let's just put in. And it's put 50 off coupon. So here's something I really like about their coupon codes is the flexibility and the ability to have there be like an expiration date. So allow me to explain. It says right here, display coupon expiration or availability on sales pages and at checkout. So you can hover over this. Students will see either the available coupon count or the expiration date on sales pages at checkout. So this is a fantastic way of using scarcity or urgency because if you arrive on say the sales page or you realize there's a coupon code and there's only like 10 left and you know say a course just launched, there's going to be a bigger increase in them using that right away because they know they're going to sell out. Think of it this way, if Taylor Swift sells more tickets like they go on sale like everyone knows they sell out so quickly but imagine it's like there's only 10 left they know they're going to act fast i hope that uh, reference kind of makes sense there but when you limit the amount of coupons they have and your students can see that there's much a much higher chance of them purchasing so what i want to do is click on this so you can do display the remaining time before the coupon expires or display the remaining number of coupon usages that's going to be up to you i think this one's going to be very powerful especially if you have a low amount like if it says there's a million coupons available that's not exactly going to get anyone to jump right away but say if you only had 10 or maybe i don't know seven or eight whatever it's going to be that's going to be a little bit better also, what you can do in case you're not wanting to use this, like it doesn't want to expire any specific time, you can just choose like a really later date. You know, we have December 25th, 25th, yeah, 25th of 2025, something like that. And of course, you can go with it that way. But I do want to say in case you don't want to use the number available, you can always display the time remaining. Like if that time is coming up within a few days, that's some great urgency right there. So that's going to be up to you. I like the fact that they have that there. It's it's a great way to be creative with how you can utilize your coupons and of course, help get even more sales because who doesn't love a discount plus the fact that it's going to be running out soon. It's definitely a great way to get people to take action. Let's click on save here. And there we have it. And what I want to do is just open out the checkout page. And what I'm going to do is also copy this so I can enter it in. So let's go and check that out. All right, so I just opened the checkout page here. And as you can see, the new thing that's going to be added here is going to be add coupon code. Allow me to paste this in there, control V and click on apply. And that should be 50 off, I believe for 47. Beautiful negative 50 or minus 50 and you'll see coupon applied only eight left i love that fact i think it's really great in fact i'm going to show you what it looks like if we take off the you know coupon applied only x amount left let's change it so that it's a date instead so i'm going to remove this let's go back to our settings one sec so let's click on the edit button here and once again let's display the remaining time so let me pick a better date one sec all right, so I just did 525, 2023, 1155 AM. So this is gonna display the remaining time before coupon expiration. So let's click on save. 
And great, that's updated. So I'm just going to refresh the other page. I'm going to copy this in so I can save it. So let's check out the checkout page. All right, and so now that that is refreshed, let's paste this in here. Do save 50 and apply. And look at that coupon expires in one hour. So that's the power of having some type of like scarcity or urgency in there. Like if you saw expires in one hour, that really re removes the big objective of like, oh, maybe I'll get it tomorrow. Maybe I'll think about it. Like if I saw that and I really want something, I'm getting it like a $50 discount. That's great. You know, I'm sure you're the same way. It's like anytime you shop at like TJ Maxx or Marshall's, like everything has a discount on it naturally. It's a great way to increase sales plus the ability that it can expire very soon. I think that's a phenomenal little micro feature that like, I know I talked a lot about it, but I think it's just, this is a great way to really increase your sales. That's why I like it so much. So anyway, I hope you got some value out of this teachable coupon codes tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, and that about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.